Many people incorrectly assume that scuba tanks are filled with pure oxygen. Actually, it's normally just compressed air. Since our atmosphere is about 79% nitrogen and only 21% oxygen, scuba tanks contain only 21% oxygen. As we dive down underwater, the pressure increases. The scuba regulator feeds us air at the same pressure as the water, so our lungs don't collapse. As long as we clear our ears regularly, divers have very little sense of the pressure difference between the surface and underwater. However, there is something going on behind the scenes. Under pressure, air is absorbed by the lungs at a higher rate, which puts more of that air into the bloodstream and eventually into all the tissues of the body. The oxygen component of the air gets metabolized by the body. But since air is mostly nitrogen, divers end up with a lot of extra nitrogen dissolved in the blood and tissues. This nitrogen is not metabolized or used by the body in any way, it just circulates around. But when the diver comes back to the surface, that nitrogen will have to leave the body. It will slowly creep out of the bloodstream and tissues through the lungs, the same way it got in there. But if a diver stays too long, goes too deep, or comes up too fast, the nitrogen can come out of solution, forming bubbles in the blood. When these bubbles clog up capillaries and block the blood flow, they cause pain and sometimes permanent injury. This is called decompression sickness, or the bends, because it often strikes first at the joints where the body bends. During the process of becoming scuba certified, students learn how long they can stay at depth and how fast they can ascend to avoid decompression sickness. These are referred to as the no decompression limits. For example, a rule of thumb is 60 minutes maximum at 60 feet and only 20 minutes at 100 feet. Then you have to go to the surface nice and slow. We have dive computers with pressure sensors to help track this information and tell us when it's time to go. So what is this nitrox thing? Nitrox is basically air with extra oxygen added in in order to reduce the amount of nitrogen. So it's not that we need more oxygen, but we need less nitrogen. A common nitrox mix is known as nitrox 32 or 32% nitrox. This has 32% oxygen instead of 21% in air. By increasing the oxygen to 32%, we reduce the nitrogen from 79% to 68%. With less nitrogen in the breathing gas, we get less nitrogen in the blood, and the result is that we can stay longer at a given depth than we could if we're breathing plain old air. For example, with 32% nitrox, we can stay 92 minutes at 60 feet, instead of only 60 minutes. And with 36% nitrox, we can stay 125 minutes at that same depth. So you might be thinking, why not just breathe pure oxygen and get rid of the nitrogen altogether? Well, it turns out that at very high pressures, oxygen is actually toxic. It's hard to believe that the one gas which is critical to our survival will actually cause you to go into seizures at a high pressure. It's only safe to breathe pure oxygen down to 20 feet. Uh -oh. So we need some nitrogen in our breathing gas for it to be used any deeper than 20 feet. Each mixture of nitrox has a depth limit called the MOD, Maximum Operating Depth. The MOD of 32% nitrox is 130 feet, and for 36% nitrox, only 90 feet. So nitrox is what I like to call an intermediate gas. It's not good for going really deep because it has too much oxygen. It doesn't really buy you anything in shallow water where your dives are plenty long on plain old air. But it's really great in those intermediate depths, say 50 to 120 feet, where it can really extend the amount of time you have to explore the blue world.
Hey everyone, thanks for watching our latest episode all the way to the end. Hit that subscribe button now so you won't miss our next episode.